Have a nice evening. I gotta give it to Bill, Karen, and Lenny. They made the right call going back there. It was exactly what we needed. Back on our feet. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay. Hi. Reverend. How about you keep me company? Really, Mr. Bell? You flatter me. Tell me some stories about when you was young and pretty before time ravaged you. Oh, you horrible <laughs> man. <laughs> That's right. Mmm. Mr. Bell. Look, it's Slow Knife Morgan. You got a guilty look. What are you talking about? You're up to something. Sure.
Hey, Javier. Hello, Arthur. You got a fever or something? I mean, it's too cold to dress like that. Morning, Arthur. You okay? Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what? What do you mean? Ah, I'm just joking How's with you. Well, good talking to you. Somewhere between crappy and crap. Hey. Hey. Arthur. <sighs> What the hell? Ah, it's none. Oh, just go away. Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. Yeah, that's my girl. What the hell?
Easy there. Hey there, girl. Yep. You done good, girl. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you, if that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm no, sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? I, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine...
fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to McCombs in. Okay, thanks. 